I would say that if you're interested in healthcare, but you're nervous that maybe you don't have the best bedside manner, or you don't think that you wanna have direct patient care, but you still are interested in healthcare, a job in the laboratory might be perfect for you. I was fortunate that my mom worked in a laboratory when I was a high school student. She had a position in a Madison hospital in the customer service part of the lab, and she knew that I liked science, and so she let me uh, tag along at work one day and introduce me to some of her coworkers, and uh, I really fell in love with the idea of working in a hospital lab. In order to become a uh, laboratory science in the field that I am, uh, that I'm in currently, um, it's a four-year college degree. So I have a Bachelor of Science diploma, but in order to get the full four years under my belt, I took three years at the college that I attended, and my fourth year was a clinical rotation at a hospital. And at the end of that four years, I got my college diploma, but then I also took a board exam. So I was certified nationally as a medical technologist. Now that term has changed to medical laboratory scientist. I would recommend the four-year degree. There are options for two-year degrees as well. And for those individuals who are interested in the laboratory field, but not necessarily college, they also have the option of becoming a phlebotomist. That does not require a degree. It is helpful to have a certification, which is available at WCTC and other technical schools. But phlebotomy is a fantastic introduction to the laboratory and healthcare in general. Um, phlebotomy has a lot of patient contact and uh, really a very skilled trade and very, very highly sought after. As a laboratory manager right now, my primary responsibilities are staffing, making sure we have enough people to do the job, keeping our staff developed, making sure that day-to-day -day operations run smoothly, and managing the budget of the department. A clinical laboratory scientist who is not in a leadership role will likely do all of the laboratory testing. They're going to do troubleshooting on an instrument. They're going to document a lot of quality control every day. And the laboratory scientist works very closely with other people in healthcare, such as physicians, nurses, pharmacy. They're calling, communicating all the time over the phone, lab results, critical information. Being a laboratory scientist is doing real science. We are transferring specimens from one container to another. Uh, we use probably a dozen different instruments at the hospital lab at Waukesha Memorial. We have technology that can detect pathogens using PCR. We have technology that is for counting blood cells and determining what type and how many there are. We have technology in the lab that is capable of running many different blood tests and other body fluids to determine if people are healthy or unwell. Uh, right now, things are going in the direction of molecular science. So in the past, we would study and learn about laboratory results that took longer to get the results. Now we can get results much more quickly. Um, we also use DNA and PCR technology to detect things that are growing that shouldn't be in a person's body. Um, so that's the direction things are quicker and more accurate than they ever have been in the past. The lab schedule is typically designed to support the needs of the operation. So people will work first shift, second shift, third shift. We're gonna work nights, weekends, and holidays. Uh, in a laboratory that supports a clinic, you will only work Monday through Friday, typically. Uh, very seldom weekends and holidays in a clinic, but in a hospital, it's 24 seven. There's a lot of people who are hired for third shift only. And some people work seven days on, seven days off, and they're considered full-time, so there's good benefits with there. It's not for everyone, but it's a, creates some flexibility.
one of the most challenging things about my job is changing policy and procedure on short notice and then communicating it to everybody who needs to know quickly and accurately. Uh, recently with the pandemic and with supply chain shortages, we have experienced quite a few rapid changes. And the change itself is not hard, but communicating it to all the people that need to know is the challenge. Okay, what I love most about my job, top three, I love doing science. I think science is so cool and what we're doing in the lab is real science. Uh, the other thing that I really love about my job is helping people solve problems. I love when a physician or a nurse practitioner or a pharmacist comes to me or a colleague in the lab and says, hey, I don't know what to do next. What do you recommend? And we can suggest a panel of lab tests that might be appropriate depending on if they are suspicious of a certain clinical condition. Or we can suggest things that are not appropriate and help to rule out and not waste money on unnecessary lab testing. Third thing that I really like about my job, I think, is the people that we work with. There's a whole spectrum of senses of humor, um, organized, disorganized, everyone, you know, friendly, introverts, extroverts, so it's really great. As a phlebotomist without the college degree, in this part of the country, you can expect to see a salary range between $18 to $24, $25, um, depending on your number of years of experience. If you go for that two-year degree, there is a lab science career field with a two-year degree, and a person with that credential might be able to make in the neighborhood of $23 to $32 per hour. Those individuals who have that four-year medical laboratory science degree and they take their boards and they successfully pass would probably earn in the neighborhood of $28 to $42 per hour. If you're interested in healthcare but you're nervous that maybe you don't have the best bedside manner or you don't think that you want to have direct patient care but you still are interested in healthcare, a job in the laboratory might be perfect for you. There are positions in the lab where you can help people solve problems behind the scenes. If your strength is looking for details in a data set or behind a microscope, but perhaps not right in the patient's bedroom, this is the job for you.